Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis. After months and months of storyline build, the mystery behind Kurt Angle's texting scandal was finally revealed on this week's Raw. He has an illegitimate son who very conveniently turned out to be American Alpha wrestler Jason Jordan. Jordan has since left SmackDown and his former tag team partner Chad Gable to start a new life with his long lost pa. But what? What will that new life entail? Ever since the rather lacklustre announcement was made, we've all been trying to fantasy book storylines that would make up for that anticlimactic reveal. Will a jealous Gable jump ship and become Raw's dominant heel? Will Jordan turn on Angle once Kurt's outlived his usefulness, revealing it was actually an elaborate plan by Triple H and Stephanie McMahon all along? Or could Shelton Benjamin return to WWE as Jason's kayfabe uncle? According to pro wrestling sheet, none of these. Instead, the site is reporting Jordan is set for a solid mid-card level push as one of Raw's main storylines and his relationship with Kurt will grow as the Olympic athlete tries to be a father figure for Jason. Additionally, Jordan's former tag team, American Alpha, does appear to be over, with Raw having no plans for Gable to follow his partner over. Because WWE really doesn't like fan favourite tag team stuff together right now. Gable, meanwhile, is expected to get a mid-card push on SmackDown Live after impressing WWE officials with his recent matches against AJ Styles and Kevin Owens. We should probably take Pro Wrestling Sheets report as real news, as opposed to the fake kind, considering they've been telling us Jordan is Angle's illegitimate child through weeks of secret code. Pro Wrestling Sheets reporter James McKenna revealed he's been hinting at the payoff since June reposting his previous tweets. Just so we can squash this one more time, any rumour of Angle and Triple H having a feud over the next few months is, let's just say, illegitimate. And in his string of tweets where the first word of each post reads, Jason Jordan is Angle's son, you idiots. Subtle. It turns out, though, that WWE didn't need wrestling dirt sheet writers to spoil the reveal. They managed that quite fine by themselves, reportedly accidentally running American Alpha graphics in front of the crowd before Raw went on air. Whether the storyline's payoff was worth it or not, people sure tuned in to find out, with Raw doing its best rating in three months, averaging 3.15 million viewers. But what about your ratings? 32 percent agreed with me thinking the episode was core, but the majority weren't as impressed with 54% voting average. The most recent episode of the WWE Network's Table for Three show was a Nation of Domination reunion, with Ron Simmons, Mark Henry and The Godfather sitting down to talk their history together and getting pranked by fellow Nation alumni Rock the Dwayne Johnson, who sent fancy watches to both Henry and The Godfather and a framed picture of himself to Simmons. Damn! I'll work on that impression. But there was a serious announcement amongst all the tomfoolery. Henry, who has been with WWE for over 20 years, will finally be retiring from wrestling. Father time is undefeated and my time is coming to an end. I'll go from being a talent to an employee here in the next few months. In an interview last month, Henry admitted he's already taken a backstage role in WWE, which involves scouting future talent, revealing that Braun Strowman Rich Swan and Apollo Crews were all signed to the company on his recommendation. Rey Mysterio is reportedly in talks for a WWE return, and which XTNA star made their in-ring debut on this week's SmackDown? Find out by clicking the videos to the left, press subscribe, and support WrestleTalk on Patreon. I've been Ollie Davis, and that was Wrestling.